Okay, so now we stay in the command line and we should type the following command to change the host name. So what we will do, uh, first of all, I will clear the uh, terminal so that you don't get overwhelmed with all the things that are, that are mentioned there. So uh, you use clear uh, command to clear the terminal and you can start f with a clean window and you can st start typing your commands. So what we will do, we will type a sudo vi we are going to call the text editor within linux and we will change the following file in a etc folder and we will uh, change the host name and press enter and we also should provide the password so my password is abap777 this is the uh, administration password for this user and we are currently inside of vi text editor within Linux, which is the standard way on how you can update some text files within Linux. And basically what we will do here is that we will change this Linux FMFA SUS to our own value. And I will, I will tell you which one uh, just in a few seconds. So in order to start inserting data uh, into or start typing, we should type I. And right now you can see that uh, this state of this editor has changed to insert. And right now we can start typing. So first of all, I will remove this whole string and I will start typing the following V H C A L N P L C I. So just double check if you are right. Uh, so again, this is V H C A L NPLCI. And now in order to stop editing, uh, you should press escape. So you see that this insert has dismissed, uh, is not visible anymore. And now we want to save uh, this file and exit it. And in order to save it, uh, we need to tell it to this editor by uh, typing that some command. And uh, we start typing commands by typing colon and now press W this will save data to disk or write. This is this is why you you type there W and then uh, press Q and this stands for quitting. So what we what this uh, editor will do? It will firstly save and then quit or close this editor and then we should press enter. So right now it's already saved. Just to make sure that everything uh, is fine, I will press arrow up and press enter to enter this the same file and I can see that the value has changed. And now in order to get out of this view mode, I again press colon and then Q for quitting and press enter. And one more thing which I can do in order to check if uh, this host name has been changed correctly is to use the following command is to use sudo cat etc host name host name like this okay enter and i see that the host name is my changed host name so that's fine if you see something like this you are on a good track and now in order to take this into effect uh, so that uh, linux is counting with this setup we need to restart network and check if this host name is changed so what we will do we will uh, do the rc network and we will restart that press enter. Okay, so it's restarted. And when, when I will type host name, I see that my host name is VHCALNPLCI. So everything works fine. This is the state that you want to get your, your system as well. In the following lecture, we will map our host to the, the new host name. So watch further and see you in the next lecture.